Okay, uh, today we will be discussing the concept of electric field. So in order to understand this topic electric field, we need to first know about uh, test charge and source charge. So let's discuss first test charge and source charge. Test charge. It is represented by Q0. This will represent a test charge. Now look, as the term suggests, test charge means it's a charge which is used to detect or test the presence of electric field at a point in a given region. So test charge, its magnitude is vanishingly small. It's infinitesimally small as compared to the source charge. So test charge simply uh, is a charge having very very small magnitude, infinitesimally small, yeah, vanishingly small, which is used to detect the strength of electric field in a given region. And it's represented by Q0. Another one is source charge. Again, as the term suggests, source charge. This is the charge which is obviously of large magnitude as compared to this test charge. And this charge acts as a source of the electric field. Source charge, as the term suggests, it acts as a source of the electric field. It can be represented by capital letter Q. So just remember, capital Q is very very large as compared to Q0. There is a logic behind it. Now test charge, its magnitude is vanishing small because it shouldn't alter the position of the source charge. Again I repeat, the magnitude of the test charge should be vanishing small so that it does not alter the position of the source charge. So as a result, we can determine the strength of the electric field due to a source charge at a point accurately. Now, let's start with the definition of electric field. Uh, we'll discuss two definitions. One is the qualitative definition, the other one is the quantitative de definition, that is the mathematical part. Right? So let's first consider on the qualitative. Qualitative definition. Now suppose there is a source charge. Now what it does is, it modifies its surroundings. It modifies its surroundings. Suppose there is a sphere of influence of the source charge. Means its effect is spread in all the directions, symmetrical, and this is its sphere of influence. Now whenever any test charge is brought in its surroundings, then this test charge under the influence of electric field due to the source charge will experience some electric force. So that influence is known as electric field. So qualitatively, the electric field due to a source charge may be defined as the space property by virtue of which this source charge modifies its surroundings in such a manner that if any test charge is brought near its vicinity, near its surroundings, then the test charge tends to experience an electric force of attraction or repulsion depending upon the nature of the pair of charges. So that's qualitative definition of electric field. Now the point arises is how to measure the strength of the electric field at a given point. Suppose I want to measure the strength of the electric field at point P, which is at a distance R from this source charge. Now what I do is, <coughs> I will place this test charge over here. Now definitely for convenience we will consider these two to be positive. Test charge is supposed to be positive, right? Just for convenience. Now, since these two are light charges, so as a result, this test charge will experience an electric force of repulsion. Since electric force is of central nature, so obviously it will act along the line joining these two charges, so it will act along this direction. This is the electric force. Now, the magnitude of this electric force, we are aware, it's given by K. In case it is in vacuum, then K is 1 over 4 by absolute. Absolute is the absolute permittivity of free space. Capital Q, the other charge is Q0, and the distance to the limit is R, so it is R square. And in the vector form, it may be written like this. This is R cap, which will give its direction. R cap is directed along. Now it can be replaced by vector as I have told you. It's a vector divided by magnitude. Anyway, we can change later on. So electric field is defined as, mathematically, it is defined as length Q0 tends to 0. It signifies that the test charge 
is vanishingly small. It is infinitesimally small. Obviously, it can't be seen. It's a charged body, but its magnitude is vanishingly small. F vector divided by Q naught. This is the mathematical statement of electric field. This is how the electric field can be measured at a point. Now let's try to express it in our own words. So, electric field at a point due to the source charge. Electric field at a point due to the source charge is defined as the electric force experienced per unit test charge placed at that point. Again, as is defined, the electric field at a point due to the source charge is defined as the electric force experienced per unit test charge placed at that point. So obviously, electric field is a nature quantity. Whatever is the direction of the electric field should also be along the same direction. So, electric field is a vector quantity. Now, what about its SI unit? SI unit of force is Newton. SI unit of charge is Coulomb. So, its SI unit is Newton per Coulomb. You can make use of uh, the uh, basic units uh, to arrive at its dimensional formula. Newton, it is kg meter per second square. Coulomb, it is ampere second. So dimensional formula would be kg meter s minus 3 a minus 1. That is, that is, its dimensional formula would be n l t minus 3 a minus 1. This is the dimensional formula for the electric field. Another unit which we can express when writing electric field is volt per meter. That also we will discuss in the later section once we are clear with potential potential difference. Thereafter we will try to find out the relationship between electric field and potential. Anyway, another unit is volt per meter. So, this is the basic concept of electric field. Now, electric field is a vector quantity. Right? <coughs> now, electric field in a given region is represented by field lines. It can be uh, known as electric lines of force or it may be simply termed as field lines. So what basically are the electric lines of force? Let's discuss that. Suppose this is a source charge and positive. And this is a test charge, Q0, which is one of the instance of this source charge. Now if you read this test charge over here, then this test charge will definitely experience an electric force in case they are light, it will experience an electric force of repulsion to remove away from it. So, it tends to move along this particular direction. So, this direction is the electric field line. So, electric field line actually it is a hypothetical concept. It is an imaginary concept which has been developed so as to get the pictorial representation of electric field in a given region. So, as to visualize the electric field in a given region. Now, how to define electric field line? Electric field line may be defined as the path along which a unit positive test charge would move if it is free to do so. Now, in this case, we are considered to be positive test charge, right? And under the instance of this positive source charge will move along this direction. So, electric field at this point due to this positive source charge will be directed along this direction. In case the source charge is negative and you place the positive test charge over here, then obviously it will experience electric force of attraction so it will be like this. So in this case, if this test charge is free to move, then it will move along this direction and this will be the electric field line. So electric field line may be defined as the imaginary path along which a unit positive test charge will move if it is free to move. So. so another important conclusion we can obtain from this that due to a positive source charge, the electric field lines are directed away or it originates from the positive charge or it rather emanates from the positive charge. While if the source charge is negative, then the electric field lines tend to terminate or the field lines tend to end at the negative source charge. So, electric field lines basically these are the imaginary lines which represents the electric field in a given 